Some grew up with Fruit Loops. I grew up with Fruit Rings. Others grew up with Apple Jacks. Sometimes my cereal box said Apple things. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I can spot the difference from someone who grew up with Google search versus someone like me who grew up with Yahoo and Bing. Now I'm gonna air out my dirty laundry, make it clean. Parents raised me right. You don't go outside until you eat every last baked bean. <laughs> when the window AC got turned on, Andy, go close all the windows and shut each screen. I understand now money didn't grow on trees. We just didn't have the green. <laughs> Dad, I hurt my chest. I rubbed some mud on it. No, Dad, I think I broke my spleen. We didn't always have brand cola. We had big K soft drinks, still had caffeine, and the majority of the clothes I wore were hand-me-down from Jean. Come to think about it, including this pair of Jean. Don't talk while others are speaking. Mr. Bean, often baked with frozen dinners, never lean cuisine. Both my parents were a working machine. Growing up, never had a TV that was a flat screen. Instead, we played outside with the evergreen. Stocked up on candy at Halloween. But I'm thankful to learn about the man with spikes in his hands, but I ain't talking about Wolverine. So what do I know about struggle? What you know about being in a reading van during recess while their kids are playing football and you're learning that you're a muggle? Jokes aside though, I've had my highs and lows, I must say. Let's start with the highs. I got to hang out with Grammy Award winner Lecrae for a day, met Billboard number one artist NF on my 30th birthday, and was in Coach Calipari's house with the Wildcats for a selection Sunday. But now let's look at the lows. My grandma had a heart attack at midnight during my cousin's wedding reception. My friend was hit and passed in a driving accident while looking for reception, and I lost my girlfriend to a drunk driver in college, so don't get a misconception. I understand though, I don't know a thing about racial or social injustice. All I know is that I'm social and just his. So I go to poetry slams to learn about hardships I know nothing about. And I'm here to share about the living water, Jesus, because with him, you'll never have a drought. I respect every poet that takes the stage for what they believe. I said stage four, because when it comes to healing, Jesus can, sir, you just got to receive. My friend said, Bishop, people are saying some awfully mean things about you. I said, oh yeah, like what? He said, they're calling you a liar, deceitful, a hypocrite, but that you covered up because you don't curse. I said, is that all? He said, well, yeah, but it's because they don't know you. I said, you're right, because if they knew me, they would have said worse. I need Jesus more than anyone I know. Because I'm an MC, try to follow his script and put on a show. I said, AMC, follow script, put on show. In other words, I'm good at playing acts when I should be reading the book of Acts. It's like I'm putting makeup on a pig, spraying Acts. Chisel me, Lord, go on and use an Acts. But for real, I don't do it for the crowd here. In fact, I need Jesus so much, I might pray and crouch here. And I ain't ever after a bag of 300. I'm here to tell you, I go to war with my flesh like the movie 300. So at the end of this poem, understand one thing. I'm a sinner saved by grace, trying to love God, love people, and serve our King.